Hello, I'm Paul here. Today I'm going to be talking about the top two assets that I believe that someone should be focusing on trading uh, to make more. Uh, you can make it to make more USD, but in this video I'm going to kind of teach it on how to make Satoshi. I may have touched on this in other videos, but I kind of want, want to go over the pros and cons of, you know, trading crypto versus tr trading it to make Satoshi. Uh, a lot of people might think that you have to trade Bitcoin to make more Bitcoin, uh, but that's not true. And a lot of a lot of things, at least for the, you know, you know if you look at the charts with Bitcoin and there's only one time in like four years where I would personally recommend to trade Bitcoin, and that's during the parabolic run, which we're slowly appro approaching that. So that is the only time that I personally believe to trade Bitcoin because we know what direction it's going. But if you look, if you look at where Bitcoin goes on a day-to-day -day basis and how volatile it is compared to other things like the uh, stock market and you you will find that it's much easier to trade and find direction with the stock market than it is with crypto so what I'm gonna go over today is I'm gonna pick I'm gonna show you how to do this I mentioned that I, I've showed you how to do this on my channel before but I'll walk you through it again but but then I'm gonna go over kind of the key stocks that you could do on a regular basis that will actually create you Satoshi. You can also build uh, three sources of income with 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 this video here uh, because you can trade it on Robinhood with the options. You, you can do it on Forex, and you can also do it on Forex with a Satoshi account, which is what I want to go over today. So I'm going to show you how to set it up, and then I'm going to show you the assets that I think that the average person could actually trade on like Monday through Friday and make more Satoshi. So you don't have to trade Bitcoin and crypto to make Satoshi. You just have to trade an asset that moves with solid direction. So uh, I'm going to show you how to set this up. And I'm going to be looking at, we'll look at some stocks and how to use those stocks to make more Satoshi. And also how to build like, resources of income doing this but anyway I'll, I'll, I'm, I'll, I'm gonna show you how to set it up first and then we'll look at some charts okay so this is the brokerage real, real quickly I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you what you need for for this to work you need trade locker and trading view of course to look at charts and you know Robin if you want another source of income right there but for sake of this video I'm gonna be talking about trade locker and trading view and you know, basically that'll look charts. But you need trading trade locker because that's what you're gonna be using to trade your assets with. And then you need uh, you're gonna need a broker. So once you set this up, you're gonna need to make an account. So you wanna go to account. So you go to account, you wanna do uh, this top one right here, and then you're gonna wanna select current if, for the sake of this video, I'm going to be, I'm trying to teach you how to trade an asset and make Satoshi. So, but you can also set up a USD account if you want. So you'll have two sources of income. You have a Satoshi based account and a USD based account. So you want to do currency. You can do USD or Bitcoin. For, but for the sake of this video, you're going to need to pick Bitcoin. And then you, you have to pick your your leverage and pick your leverage and then create account once you create your account all you have to do is you're gonna have to fund it with crypto so when you do deposit when you do deposit you can pick all these Bitcoin I do Litecoin because it's much easier but you get a Bitcoin Litecoin let's say I want to do Litecoin I buy, I buy some Litecoin and then once you do that you are going to send well you can send it to your wallet but if you send it to your wallet it's going to appear up there in the top left corner uh, if you don't want to do that you know if if you buy crypto and you send it here it's going to convert it into usd and it's going to appear in a balance up there in the corner 
but it, if you want, you could select your platform and then you just link it to your Bitcoin account that you just created. That is how, that's how to get started. And once you do this successfully, uh, you can trade whatever you, asset you want and you can trade whatever asset you want and make Satoshi basically. So that's how you set it up. And then once you do, they're going to send you, you know, your login and you'll be able to, you'll be able to log into a trade locker here with your login and you'll be, you'll be basically be able to trade whatever asset. So let's look at trade locker real quick. So I'm not going to go past the screen because I don't want to show you my balance, but basically, Basically, you have your Bitcoin right here. You see, you see the digits up there as a Bitcoin. So, whatever you choose to trade, whatever you choose to trade, you'll make Satoshi. So, you basically can pick whatever whatever you want. But for the sake of this video, what I'm trying to teach you is basically how to trade stuff like uh, the SP 500 uh which what else we got the s p 500 and uh the the u s 30 is basically what what, what i want to teach people how to do because i have, those two are really the the top ones that have solid direction so basically if, if you want to trade let's say when the market is open let's say s b x this is the s p 500 so you would pick the s p 500 and then you you would you, you would choose your lot size here, and when the market is open, you will, you'll trade. Uh, you you know, there's your lot size, and then as it moves, you'll make Satoshi. So that's the S&P 500, uh, and you know, you do your lot size accordingly. There's the S&P 500, which I recommend, and there's also the US 30. The US 30, which is something I highly recommend because it moves very, it, it moves, look at, look at this dump right here from the last time. And it, it moves a lot. So it's basically, if you understand how to trade the US 30, you can make a lot of Satoshi. If you understand the direction, which is basically understanding where the stock market's going, if you understand how to trade the US 30, you can make a lot of Satoshi. Yeah, even with like even with a 0 0.011, you will make a lot of Satoshi just by one lot size. I can't go over the numbers, but you'll basically make a lot. So that's basically how you set it up. I doing it with the S&P 500. If you focus on doing it with just the S&P 500 or and the US 30, you could actually make Satoshi on a daily basis, Monday through Friday, if you understand direction. So let's look at charts real quick. I want to look at, overall, I want to look at the S&P 500, and then I also want to look, uh, what we want to look for here, we want to look for solid direction. So, uh, we're on Bitcoin right now. So you can look at, you can look, real quickly, we can look look at Bitcoin here. And on the daily, you can see how volatile this is. You know, oh, oh, overall, it's going up, but it has a lot of these violent moves. So real quickly, we want to look at all these violent moves, how much it goes up. Then it goes down, and then you really have no, uh, the whole point of here is that the S&P and the US 30 have more of a clear direction. Now, if you look at this right here, you'll see how volatile these moves can get. So right now, we're going to go look at SBX. We'll do SBX because that's connected to the Forex. Look at the direction compared to Bitcoin. Look at the direction compared to Bitcoin. Bitcoin had a lot more volatile moves than the S&P 500 does. So to make more Bitcoin, 
all you have to do is understand the overall direction of where the S&P 500 is going and where the uh, US 30 is going. If you can understand that and learn how to read the chart on both of them, you can make Satoshi. And you don't have to be part of the volatile waves of Bitcoin and the other cryptos. So with my strategy here, and I'm going to kind of go over the, the strategy that I've been using. I use the rainbow strategy. I use the rainbow strategy and the AD and oscillator. I have videos on them. So, But basically, from what we can tell from the S&P 500, and we'll, we'll look at the uh, US 30 as well. But we can see that from November 14th, it has been an uptrend. It, it has minor pullbacks here and there, and a little bit one up here, but overall, it's been going up. So what you can, you can clearly see the direction of where the S&P 500 is going. And by knowing that, you can go in and you can, you can put in some buy orders. Now, what I personally would do is wait for it, you know, it, it crossed right here and it's been an uptrend since. But if it crosses down again, that that's the start of it going down. If you, you see this, if you see this on the day, if you see this on the day, it's going to be a downtrend. But overall, the S&P 500 is going up. So what do you have to do for your trades to make more Satoshi? You just have to... You have to find those moments where it's starting to go up. So we know the overall trend is going up uh, with little pullbacks here and there. So if we go to the hour here and we look at our 80 and oscillator, all we have to do is focus on all the moments. Now, since this is the uh, SBX, now if you're doing us on Robinhood, there's contracts. Okay, then they expire. The point of this video is to show you how to trade the S&P 500 and the US 30 to make more Satoshi. So you can't do that with the Robinhood app. You can do that with Forex. So. But you see right here, if you focus on the hour, you can focus on the hour, you can do the 15 minute, whichever time frame you want to do. But, but we know that the overall trend is going up. So what you focus on is the alien oscillator and you focus on the green line crossing the signal line. Those are your moments to get in. If you want to scalp it, those are the moments to get in. So you come in right here. This would have been a moment to trade. And in this moment right here, you would have made some Satoshi. Uh, $92 worth. So, and then you see it again right here see the green line crossing the signal line right here solid direction and you just made some satoshi and since we know that the trend is going up you could really find a lot of moments since you don't have to worry about anything expiring you could really focus on long-term holds if you want to do it that way because we know the overall trend is going up so if you want to hold this longer than, than a scalp you can hold it longer than a scalp but you could find moments like right here, the green line's crossing it. That's a that's, that's a scalp right there, and you just made some Satoshi. Green line crossing the signal line right here, and you ride it out until it touches the signal line, you just made some Satoshi. Let's see if we can find it again. You see it again right here. Cross of the signal line, yeah, so right here, this is a scalp right here. Crosses the signal line from here to here, and this is a scalp right here. So it, it's easier to see the overall trend with the S&P 500 and the stock market uh, because it, the stock market has more of a clear direction than crypto does. So, Basically, you can trade the SP500 and make Satoshi. You don't have to depend on what Bitcoin is doing to make more Bitcoin or Satoshi. So anyway, real quickly, let's look at the US 30. Now, from, from looking at this with this strategy, 
first thing that we're going to do. Uh, people may look at the US-30 like it's so volatile and you don't know. Well, it's connected to pretty much the overall stock market. So it, it has more of a clear direction than reading, reading crypto charts. But the same thing, if we look at this on the day, if we look at this, if we look at the US-30 on the day, it's been bullish since November 20th, and I think I remember that the S&P 500 was similar when when it became bullish because they they kind of they're they're related to each other pretty much. You'll find a lot of a lot of the similar moves with them, but so basically we know the overall direction of the U.S. 30, and that is up, and. It won't become bearish again until the 20 crosses the 55 right here. So it's the same thing with the US 30. We know the overall direction. So if we go here on the hour, or if you guys want to do a smaller time frame, you can do a smaller time frame. So what we want to do is we want to focus on all the moments where, where it's crossing the signal line. This move right here. Now I might. I don't know if I'm accurate on the measurements of how much Satoshi you'll get, but I'm just going to go by what you would get in gains. So you, if you rode this out from here to here, this would have been. I think this would have been. A, I think it's more than that, but I'm I'm trying to measure this on a Satoshi level, but I can't do that. But. Uh, it, it might be about $149 worth of USD converted into Bitcoin. I, I don't know how much it, it would be in Satoshi. But you would make gains right here. And we see, see it crossing the signal line right here. If you rode this out and it touches right about there. So that's some Satoshi right there. And we just focus on all the moments where the green line is crossing the signal line because the overall trend is up. So, so here's another moment right here. If we focus right here, get in and it touches the signal line right about here. So you get out right there. That's $410 USD. So that that might be four hundred ten dollars worth of satoshi I, I don't know how to measure it with satoshi but you definitely would make a lot of satoshi in that move right there uh let's see let's got another moment right here crosses the signal line we come right here we can ride this out till it touches again which is right about here you would have made some satoshi right there Now, I personally go with the trend, so I only wait for moments where it, where I can clear as day see that it is going in my favor. So we see a moment right here. It crosses on the signal line. You ride that out till about here. You would have made some Satoshi right there. Crosses right here. This is a small one. Small gain right there. It crosses right about here. And then right it up to here. It about, there's a, there's a $348 right there. So anyway, I want to real quickly do this on a smaller time frame. Just because we know that the overall trend is up. So if you want to do this every day, Monday through Friday... Uh, you, you could do this on a more of an intraday level if you want, but if you do it like this, you have to pay more attention to the charts, which is why I don't really like doing intraday, but it still works the same, but you do have to get in and out quicker. That's why I like doing it on the hour because you, it really, if you do it intraday, anything can happen, and I like just focusing. Uh, doing it on the hour seems to be, get good results, but anyway. You see it happening right here on the 15 minute. So right about here, you see a quick one right here. This is 78 bucks. There's a quick one right here. It's not long at all. But these these are these are more intraday, so you'll make more daily. 
but the smaller smaller amounts. There's a small one right there. And there's one, there's a small one right here. So these are very brief, but uh, you could either choose to make a little bit each day, like Monday through Friday, by scalping it, by going to the smaller time frames. But I personally, I personally like doing this on the hour. You seem to get some, and when the, when the signal's there, the signal's there. So I like, personally, I like doing it on the hour. But anyway, the point of this video is to show you that you don't need to trade crypto or Bitcoin to make Satoshi. Uh, Bitcoin is very volatile. There's only one time I recommend trading Bitcoin, and that during the parabolic run. And then the moment when everybody starts selling and it starts going down. You can easily see that in the charts when it, when it happens. But that's like once every four years. So other than that, I would recommend finding other assets. Other assets that are out there that are less volatile. You see it with the stock market, how easy it is to find those signals. Uh, the US 30 and uh, the S&P 500 have a clear path of an uptrend it's not really clear on what Bitcoin is doing right now. It goes up and down, up and down. So you want to find something with a clear direction and then you'll be able to actually gain Satoshi on a daily basis. To me, this is more easy to do and it's much easier to make more, make more Satoshi. So anyway, uh, doing this strategy, you can open up well, you can open up a level income with crypto by doing it with uh, by doing it on Forex. Uh, on a side note, you can also trade stocks on Robinhood for a second, which which is the main strategy for a second source. And then you can also have a USD account, which is a third source. So you can have a USD based account on Forex. A Satoshi, a Satoshi base account on Forex, and you could also trade options on Robinhood. But if you want to make crypto, if you want to make Satoshi, you could trade it on uh, Forex and make more Satoshi. But those are three levels of income right there by just studying, by just studying basically the S&P 500 and the US 30. So anyway, I thought I'd make this video. If you like this video, it's not financial advice uh for entertainment purposes only uh i'm not responsible for any profit or loss uh other than that if you guys like this video hit the like button hit the subscribe button see you guys future videos